So why did you decide to run for president of North Campus? I think first off, when you're running for president, you're running for all campuses. So you're running for all of Humber and all of Gulf Humber University. So Orangeville, Lakeshore North, and Gulf Humber included. And I, when I think about like why I really want to run for president, I think there's just so many different reasons why. But when I look back at my experience as vice president, that is what really makes me want to be president again. It's another opportunity for, to help more students. As VP, I'm running my projects, completing them, and even launching my major one, which was the mentor kits. And just feeling that, that connectedness and achievements of actually implementing change for students, that is what I love most. That making change and advocating and helping students, that's what I want, regardless of even students, just persons in general. So when you're doing president, it's yes, it's a whole new role, but you're still advocating, you're still doing action. And then another thing is for president, you're not necessarily one doing the project, but you're managing your new VPs. And I'm so excited for the new VPs to come in and that I'm able to teach them. That's there's so many different reasons on why. That's right. Um, your platform, you wanted to focus on uh, opportunities for student involvement. Uh, why do you find that necessary? I think so. Honestly, we're here for our education, all of us. But when we graduate out of here, what we have most times is just our, our papers. So I want to have the opportunity for students to build their experiences, build a reputation, and build a mark on campus at Humber or even Guelph Humber University. There's so many different opportunities on campus that we don't know about. Maybe it's first off of giving more awareness on all the many different opportunities that you can expand your experiences here. But it's also increasing the opportunities. So a project that I want to continue as my VP role, in v when I was in my VP role, I am working on trying to get students to sit on non-academic committees and com academic committees. So that's giving opportunities for students to sit on administration committees where they can give more feedback and have a chance to voice their opinions about their program or voice opinions about other committees such as sustainability, sexual assault, um, um, gender and identity committees. Those are different opportunities to speak up. But there's so many different opportunities such as like involvement on campus, community involvement, leadership involvement. Those are things that I want to highlight or create or allow students to be a part of. Tell us about the menstrual hygiene project you mentioned earlier. How would you wish to expand it? I think when I first started that project, it's always starting off with what is the purpose and what is the why. And my purpose and the reason on why I did it is I understand that students struggle with finances. Students that have moved out of their house, even students that haven't moved out of the house, we're paying tuition, oftentimes we may be paying rent, and sometimes we're even trying to fight for food on our tables. And it's about trying to support students in terms of finances. So my drive for that, the Pad and Tampons project is a person that menstruates spends $18,000 in a lifetime, in general, just having their, just menstruating. So I'm thinking like, if we were to expand this project and incorporate more items, not only is it going to help the rest of the population here at Humber, but support a greater cause in finances. Maybe it's adding more items into the project. Maybe it's making the project more well known that we can force the institution as well as even ourselves to support students more when it comes to finances. That's the huge part of it. And what skills or qualities do you have to fulfill this job? I think we always hear that when you're any, in any of these kind of positions, you need to have leadership skills. But specifically for, the, for, the lead, for a president, you need to have management skills. You need to know how to lead your executives. You need to know how to manage them and ensure that there's accountability to your team, to your internal team, to your external stakeholders, which are the students, as well as the board of directors. But the skills that I have is all the skills that I've really been able to gather and foster in my VP role. I was able to gather knowledge on how do I even start my projects, how do you even execute and launch them successfully. I improved my communication when it comes to verbal written skills. How do you even interact with different types of people on campus such as um, how do you even speak to Chris Whitaker, right? Those are skills that I think I have that is able to move into my president role. But the biggest, I think the biggest and most best skill that you can have for a president is passion. You need to have passion to want to do something. Because if you don't have passion, you're not going to have motivation. And then when you're here for a year term and you're working on these projects and you don't have the passion and motivation, nothing's going to get done. So definitely my passion is I want to get things done and I want to help students so whenever concerns come up. Are there any other student issues or concerns you'd wish to tackle during your term if elected? 
it's so important that I, I listen to the Q&A forums all three of these, all three days at the Lakeshore, the North and the Gulf Humber. And when I hear them, hear candidates, it's always communication. But to me, of course, communication is a big, is a big problem. It's a big problem no matter what. Government is still having trouble with communication. Uh, we're still having trouble with communication. But there's more problems that students are actually dealing with. And when I look at, I'm a student myself, and I look at the problems that I have, housing is a problem, food security can be a problem, financial issues is a problem, especially during the strike. Finances has been such a big topic, tuition has been such a big topic always, textbooks. Is. What we, did, what we did amazingly at Ignite during this year is we launched a next level survey. And what that means is that this survey was to go out to the students and ask them, what are you really struggling with and what do you want us to prioritize in terms of what are you struggling with as a student? And the biggest po topics are tuition, textbook, and housing. So when I think about what are the issues and changes that I want to help with, those are the key things. It's about really digging down to what a student is actually dealing with regardless of the academics, but even in their personal life. That's the things I want to tackle.